first of all, before we look ahead to Exeter, talk me through the weekend away in Bath. Yeah, what, what, a, what a great uh, advert for Jersey Reds as an island, uh, championship rugby and uh, uh, a championship winning um, team performance. And I think uh, going away to the wreck in front of uh, 7,500, it was a pretty exciting uh, exciting fixture to be part of and uh, and really proud proud to come away with the result. With the other results happening in the Premier League Cup so far this season, what are your views on uh, how seriously or otherwise teams are taking it? No, I think uh, it depends on on which teams in the Premiership you look at. Uh, clearly, I think Bath and um, Exeter have got uh, not got as many players as other teams away in the uh, at the World Cup. Uh, they're definitely using this competition to prepare themselves for the league campaign. And... Uh, and that brings us to Exeter this weekend. I think uh, we're not sure what we're going to get. We saw them put out a very strong team uh, first round of the Cup. Uh, there was some small changes through that. So, so um, yeah, I think we're going to have another massive challenger uh, at home on, on Saturday. And when it comes to the, uh, uh, the squad, any uh, changes this weekend? I think we we've, we've know there were some real good performances from players last weekend, but we trust the whole squad. I think overall there'll be 12 changes coming into this weekend against Exeter. Um, but that shows where we are as a group and uh, we want our players to go out there and perform, but also prepare our, our players for our own league campaign.